Hi and welcome to our lesson on an introduction to inverse operations. In this lesson we will be continuing to convert subtraction calculations into two addition calculations. The calculations that we will be looking at will involve trickier additions and subtractions. Addition is the inverse of subtraction and subtraction is the inverse of addition. Inverse means opposite, so addition and subtraction are opposite operations. Let's look at an example. 37 take away 9 equals 28. A larger number take away a smaller number leaves another smaller number. We want to change this into two addition calculations. To do this we don't need to calculate anything. We have already been given the numbers involved. We know that two smaller numbers add together to make a larger number. Our largest number is 37, so we write 37 here. In the first space we can have either of the two smaller numbers. This time we'll write 9 here. So in this space we'll write 28. 9 adds 28 equals 37. And we know that this is correct because we are using the same numbers that are in the subtraction, and so the two smaller numbers add to make the larger number. Here's another way that we can write this as an addition. Remember, two smaller numbers add together to make a larger number. That larger number must be 37. In this space, we can have either of the two smaller numbers. This time, we'll have 28 and so 9 must go here. 28 add 9 equals 37. So we have 9 plus 28 equals 37 and 28 plus 9 equals 37. The order of the two smaller numbers doesn't matter because they still add together to make the larger number. Here's another example. 53 take away 17 equals 36. A larger number take away a smaller number equals another smaller number. We want to change this into two addition calculations. The numbers look trickier to calculate mentally but we have been given the numbers from the subtraction so we don't need to calculate anything. We just need to remember that in an addition two smaller numbers add together to make a larger number. The largest number is 53, so it must go here. In this space, we can have either of the two smaller numbers. This time, we'll choose 17. So in this space, we must have 36. Let's look at another way that we can write this as an addition. Remember, two smaller numbers add together to make a larger number. So 53 must go here. In this space we can have either of the two smaller numbers. This time we'll have 36. And so 17 must go here. 36 add 17 equals 53. The two additions that we have are 17 plus 36 equals 53 and 36 plus 17 equals 53. The order of the 17 and the 36 doesn't matter. They still add together to make 53. Here's one more example. 74 take away 47 equals 27. A large number take away a smaller number equals another smaller number. We want to write this as two addition calculations. We don't need to worry about calculating anything, as we've been given the numbers involved. In an addition, two smaller numbers add together to make a larger number. The largest number in the subtraction is 74, so 74 must go here. In this space, we can have either of the two smaller numbers. This time, we'll choose 47. 
So in this space, we must have 27. 47 plus 27 equals 74. Let's see how we can write this another way. Remember, two smaller numbers add together to make a larger number. Again, the largest number is 74, so it must go here. In this space, we can have either of the two smaller numbers. This time, we'll have 27. And so in this space, we must have 47. 27 add 47 equals 74. The two additions that we have are 47 plus 27 equals 74 and 27 plus 47 equals 74. In both calculations, the two smaller numbers added together to make the larger number. Here are some questions for you to try. Write each subtraction as two additions. Pause the video now and have a go. Question 1. 44 take away 6 equals 38. Because we are writing an addition, the largest number must go here. Either of the two smaller numbers can go here. This time we'll write 6 here and we'll write 38 here. 6 add 38 equals 44. The second way that we could write this is to have the largest number here. But this time, write the 38 in the first space and the 6 in the second space. 38 add 6 equals 44. Question 2. 57 take away 24 equals 33. We are writing an addition, so the largest number must go here. In this space, we can have either of the two smaller numbers. So we will move 24 here and 33 here. 24 add 33 equals 57. The second way that we could write this is to again write the largest number here. And in this space we'll use the other smaller number, so 33 will go here. And 24 will go here. 33 add 24 equals 57. Question 3. 65 take away 49 equals 16. To write this as an addition, we must have the largest number here. In this space, we can have either of the two smaller numbers. We'll write 49 here. And so in this space, we must have 16. 49 plus 16 equals 65. Again, the largest number must go here. Either of the two smaller numbers can go here. This time we'll have 16. And so 49 must go here. 16 add 49 equals 65. Question 4. 92 take away 35 equals 57. We are writing this as an addition, so the largest number must go here. Either of the two smaller numbers can go here. This time we'll have 35. And so 57 goes here.
35 at 57 equals 92. Again, the largest number must go here. Either of the two smaller numbers can go here. This time we'll have 57. And so 35 must go here. 57 plus 35 equals 92. Thank you for watching. More practice questions are available on our website.